Hey you guys, what's up and welcome to a week of workouts. My name's Kayla Salenza. If you're new, if you're not, welcome back. Why did you just like try and get out of the picture? <laughs> this is my fiance, Alan, and we just finally parked at the gym. I don't know why it took us like five minutes to find a parking spot. It's a Friday early afternoon, so I don't know why it's this busy. People should be at work, excluding us because I'm not really working that much anymore and Alan is actually on holidays this week. I decided that I am going to film a week of workouts because I haven't done it in quite some time. I already took my pre-workout. Alan is sipping on his G Fuel. Show them the color. It's, what's the flavor again? It's tropical really- Tropical rain. Tropical rain. The color is so nice. He's using a Gila mix. I got my Gila mix with my water and my EAAs. I already took my pre-workout, but I will show you guys quickly because I got a new one. You guys know that I, oh my God, it's so bright. You guys know I love my Alani new, but I got a new flavor, this Hawaiian shaved ice. And honestly, it just tastes like pure berries. It's actually really good. It is Friday, which is like a little bit strange that I'm starting this video on a Friday, but I'm doing glutes and I always like, think of like glute and hamstring focused workouts as like kind of like the start of my week because usually I do two a week plus I've been off the past couple of days because I needed a rest day and then mother nature came and I wasn't feeling well so I took a couple extra days off but yeah I'm gonna stop talking and we are gonna go work out First things first, and honestly, probably one of the most important things to do before working out is dynamic stretching. So that is just warming up your body, getting everything through the full range of motion and just getting that mobility where it needs to be for your workout. So I do a bunch of hip swings and just like opening up my hips. Then I move into glute activation. As you can see, I'm using a band from Lift and Conquer, doing some squats, pulse squats, standing side abductions, and then also standing kickbacks. Now moving into the actual workout, I will have everything listed on the screen as well, but I did hip thrust. I started with a lighter warm upset I did it banded with 135 pounds and then I moved into my heavy sets of 235 I was gonna say 135 again but this is 235 I did four sets of eight and then as you saw in the last rep I held it for five seconds this absolutely destroys you once that was completed I moved into B stance hip thrust so as you can see you have one leg a little bit out just so that you can focus on that one glute and then you switch sides I did three sets of eight reps per leg now we're moving into everybody's favorite, absolute favorite movement, Bulgarian split squats. This one is a little bit more glute focused, so I'm sitting back into the movement. I'm pushing through my heels and I have a slight lean forward. I also did this for three sets of eight reps per leg using a 45 pound dumbbell. Once I was done that, I moved into Romanian deadlifts. I'm using 35 pounds on each side. I'm having really soft knees here because I'm really trying to get a good glute contraction and glute focus. As well, this does work your hamstrings. I have been doing them about twice a week, I think, and I'm really starting to see results with them. And I completed this for four sets of eight reps. Last but not least, a 45 degree hyper extension. So this is not a back extension. As you can see, my back is rounded. So this targets your hamstrings and your glutes a lot more. And then you have your feet on a 45 degree angle. This also helps target your glutes. Okay, just finished at the gym. We are heading home. My legs are toast, like toast. That was a hard workout. Did I even end my watch? So our gym is in a mall and Alan picked up Chinese food after. I'm gonna go home and probably have chili and a protein shake after that. My legs are literally actually dead. That was a very like short work, like in terms of exercise wise, short workout because it was only five exercises I think. But that's enough, like when you're going heavy and like really pushing yourself, you don't need to be doing like 10 exercises. So give this a try. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hello, hello, good morning, happy Saturday. I'm about to head to the gym to go do back and biceps, but quickly I kind of wanted to talk about something. I found the most perfect jeans from Mott and Bo. They are actually kind enough to sponsor this video. So being somebody who's like on a fitness journey and just like starting to notice changes in my body, I'm losing weight, I'm losing body fat, and then I'm also growing in areas such as my glutes. I've been finding it extremely hard for quite some time to find jeans that are fitting my growing glutes and my decreasing waist size. 
So I came across Mott and & Bow and their jeans are phenomenal. The pair that I'm wearing is their high rise raw hem skinny jeans in the dark gray color. As well, they're so comfortable and super stretchy. The material in the jeans just in general are such high quality. It really feels like designer jeans, just not with that $200 to $300 price point. So if you are interested, I will have their website links below. I do have a code which is just my name. It's Kayla. It gets you 10% off your first order. So if you're a first time customer, you get 10% off and it's only a one time use. Now, as you can see, I have my sports bra on. I got to go put my leggings on and we're going to head to the gym. So as always, I always do a dynamic stretching warm up. I just forgot to record it. So basically I just use like a long resistance band and I do a bunch of arm circles and just opening up my arms and shoulders, getting them ready. Once that was done, I did these lat pull downs, one set of 12 reps as my warm up, And then I went a little bit heavier and I did three sets of 10. Once that was completed, I did a super set. So first we did close grip pull downs. I did this for eight reps. For this exercise, you really want to think about that mind to muscle connection with your lats. And you want to think about keeping your arms close and pulling down with your elbows. Once I finished that, I went straight to barbell bicep curls. So I'm using 30 pounds here and I did three sets of 10. I, it looks like I was going faster than I actually was. I was slowed it down a little bit and honestly my biceps were burning. Once that was completed, we moved to the side because there was actually so many people at the gym today. I used a 45 pound dumbbell and I did single arm rows, four sets of eight reps. For this, you really wanna think about pulling the weight to your hips. That way you're using your lats. After that, I moved into these machine curls. I did three sets of 10 reps. Truly, I would actually prefer to use free weights for biceps, but it was really busy. Like I mentioned in the gym, there was a powerlifting competition going on at the time that I was there. So I just made use with this machine. After that, I went into one of my favorites, which is a straight arm pull down. I did four sets of 15. I think I was using 30 pounds here. You really want to keep your arms straight, just a little better in your elbow and really think about using your lats. What I also like doing is I step back and I lean over a little bit more. I find that this way uses my lats more than my shoulders. And then last but not least, I did single arm cable curls. I did three sets of 15 per arm and I used 10 pounds. Happy Monday guys. This is like the third take because my camera was like super bright for some reason. I don't know why. It looks okay now, but I am about to go to the gym. As you saw yesterday, I actually did not work out. I kind of needed a rest day. I was kind of feeling like going to the gym, but then we went and visited Alan's family and then my family. And then by the time we got home and it was raining and I was just like, you know what? Just gonna take a rest day. So back at the gym today, I'm gonna be doing a leg workout, but I'm gonna be doing a quad calves focused workout. So quickly wanna show you guys my outfit. I bought this SpongeBob pump cover from Winners a few weeks ago. I love it, I'm obsessed with it. Then I'm just wearing a white sports bra. I have my track pants on, I'm gonna take them off. I'm just wearing black. Black Elf Elite leggings, got my crew socks and my Converse and I put braids in my hair today because my hair is a bit greasy and honestly I just like having my hair out of my face like especially especially on leg days. Today I also have my purple Helamix to match. Duh. And we're gonna quickly take a scoop of pre-workout and then we are gonna get going because I got things to do today so cheers. Cheers. I swear this flavor is so good. Let's go. Okay, this workout was absolutely insane. It left me crawling out of the gym, so make sure you give it a try. So as always, I always start with dynamic stretching. It's the same thing that I did earlier in the week on my glute day. So I didn't bother recording it again. So for the workout itself, I started with back squats. I did one set of 10 reps as a warm up, just the bar. And then I did another warm up set, one times six reps at 95 pounds. And then I got into my working set. So I did one set of four reps at 135 pounds and it was feeling really good. So I decided to give it a go and go higher. So I did 
one set of two reps for 155 pounds and then I did three sets of one rep at 165 as you can see I was trying to go for that second rep but I failed all three times so we're gonna work on it after that I completed a super set so I did heel elevated goblet squat so just use a five pound plate and have your heels sitting on that and I'm holding a 35 pound dumbbell in my hand you can't really see it to really feel that burn in my quads as you can see I'm not like squeezing at the top or anything I'm keeping tension in my legs so keep that in mind and then I superset that with toe elevated calf raises as you can see I'm holding a 45 pound plate in each hand and on the last rep you're gonna see coming up I do hold it for a few seconds what's key here is to really think about using your calves and also having your lats engaged so that you're not using like your upper body to complete the movement if that makes sense after that I moved into another superset so first we're doing leg extensions three sets of 10 Honestly, I don't know why people don't talk about this more. Leg extensions are so dreadful. I feel like everybody talks about split squats, but for me, it's these leg extensions. Like, just look at my face. I was not having it. And this is a killer superset. After I complete that, I go straight into walking lunges. I do three sets of 10 per leg, and I was holding two 17.5 dumbbells and yeah this really 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 burns my legs were on fire last but not least i ended my workout out with seated calf raises i did four sets of 10 i have 45 pound plates on each side i actually really like this machine i think it really targets your calves well and it's really good support for the rest of your legs holy freaking heck guys i cannot believe i got 165 on my squat i haven't tested my pr in quite some time pretty much for the past like i would say month or two i've been hitting 135 usually for like four by four so four sets of four reps and i've been doing that consistently today i was like you know what i'm gonna add an extra 10 pounds on each side because i've been doing it for quite some time and 10 pounds on each side is like it's an extra 20 pounds which is kind of a jump but i did it without the belt without the belt first and i felt good i did it for two reps so i was like you know what i'm gonna add five more on each side and i'm gonna put the belt on and see how it goes and as you guys saw i did one rep i th honestly thought i could get that second rep but i failed so i put everything back and you know i was like you know what i'm gonna rest for two three four five minutes and then i'm gonna try again so i tried again and same thing, I got the first rep for 165, but I failed the second rep, and I tried it a third time, same thing. 165, one rep, and I failed the third rep. So, you know what? 165 is my new PR. Next week, or like the next time I try to squat, I'm definitely going to try and aim for 165 times two at least once. But I'm freaking hyped, like... Happy Tuesday guys about to do a push day just finishing my pre-workout I actually mixed it with water today quickly wanted to show you my outfit so I'm wearing this old I think it's like an energy bra or something from lululemon it's really old and then these alphalete amplify leggings crew socks and converse because always yeah we're doing push day shoulders chest triceps let's go Let's get into today's workout now you have to bear with me because I forgot to record my upper body warm-up again but like I said earlier in the week I just do like a bunch of arm circles I use a long resistance band and I just open up my arms and get my mobility good honestly think I might just do a whole YouTube video dedicated to my warm-up for upper body day and lower body day so let me know if that's something you want to see so first I started with the bench press because that's the compound movement I am working on I did one set as a warm-up and then I did four sets of six reps at 75 pounds that's my PR right now then I moved into shoulder presses this is a shoulder compound movement I did three sets of eight and I was using 30 pounds after that we're doing the first superset of the day we're using this machine chest press I did four sets of eight reps at 85 pounds once I completed that I grabbed two five pound plates so one in each hand and I did lateral raises four sets of 15 so this is more of a burnout because we're doing high reps here then we're moving on to the next superset. I'm doing pronated tricep extensions. Pronated is just referring to the hand placement. So pronated is having an overhand uh, placement on the bar. So I was doing four sets of 10 at 35 pounds. And then I superset it with supinated 
tricep extension. So as you saw, I switched the hand placement. Supinated just means your palms face upwards. And I did this again for four sets of 10. And I decreased the weight here to 20 pounds just because it's a super set and you really start to feel the burn here. After that, we did one of my favorite movements ever, which is face pulls. I'm using 50 pounds and I did three sets of 10. I like having the cable higher up. A lot of people do like a mid range face pull, but I feel like that targets your back just a tiny bit more. And I wanted to do shoulders more, so I put it a little bit higher. And then last but not least, I did this machine tricep dips. I think I was using like 50 pounds and I did three sets of 12. I'm not a huge, huge fan of this machine, but the gym was pretty busy today, so we just made do with what we could. Happy Wednesday, guys. We are halfway through the week. Wednesday is hump day, so of course today I'm hitting glutes and hamstrings. Definitely have to do a leg workout on Wednesday. I am just leaving my condo now. It is pretty chilly outside today, so I'm definitely gonna have to do an, maybe a couple extra minutes of a warm up today, just to make sure I'm not cold or anything before I start. <laughs> Day five of the week of workouts. This is the last workout of the week as tomorrow I'm gonna be taking a second rest day. So five days on and two rest days is what I'm aiming for right now. So to start my glute and hamstring workout, I always start with my compound movements, hip thrusts. I did one set of 12 banded warm up at 135 and then I did three sets of eight reps at 235. Then we moved into sumo deadlifts. I haven't done these in quite some time, so I was surprised at how strong I was feeling. I did one warm-up set of eight reps at 135, and then I did one set of five reps at 185, and then I did two sets of three reps at 195, as you can see right there. I was feeling really good. Then we're moving into a superset. So we're doing barbell RDLs. I honestly prefer using dumbbells, but I used dumbbells earlier in the week and I was already at the squat rack. So I just decided to use the barbell. I did three sets of eight reps. After I completed one set, I did move into the superset, which is dumbbell sumo squats, which you're gonna see in a second. A lot of people online, especially like online trainers on TikTok, really do not like dumbbell sumo squats. They say that it's not really a glute workout because it works your abductors a little bit more, but I love this. I really focus on that sumo stance and pushing through my heels and kind of sitting into it and it feels really good. So I really like it as a glute exercise. I did three sets of 10. After that, I moved into the reverse hack squat. So I have a little bit of a sumo stance here. My toes are pointed at about 45 degree angle, and this is a glute bias hack squat. So as you can see, my hips and glutes are leading. So I did four sets of six reps. I went super heavy there. And then to end the workout, I did lying hamstring curls. I did three sets of six. I went really low on the reps here because as you can see, on the lowering part of the exercise, I'm going super slow. I was doing like three, four, five seconds down and that really gives a burn to your hamstring. So that was a really good like change up because I don't do that quite often. All right guys, that is the end of this video. I just finished that workout. It was killer. I kind of have a little bit of a headache which was bothering me the whole workout which was a tad bit annoying but I'm gonna go upstairs and get warm, take a nice shower, drink some more water and hopefully feel a little bit better. I hope you guys enjoyed this full week of workouts and I think I'm gonna start doing this more. I think it will be like an accountability thing Thing for me because I can also track like the weights I'm using and you guys can see me progressively overloading hitting maybe some PRs and all that good stuff if you don't want to miss any of my future videos please subscribe to me down below turn that bell notification on give this video a like so I know you guys enjoy it and I'll see you guys in the next one bye